Huh. I just thought of something, actually. There's a star on the sign over here. And there was a star on the first one as well, and I missed a star there as well. So... Hmm, interesting. I guess that might be a thing. Do I have all these? It requires one more. Do I have one of these? It requires two more. Ah, man. So would it be worth to go through the first one again? To look for a star, or... I should just go to number three. <laughs> I, oh, and there's two stars on this sign, so I guess, uh... Those stars are probably going to become relevant at some point in our lives. But, oh well. We're going to just go to number three. How many numbers are there? There's like seven. And then there's these two. And then there's this. Oh, I can actually open this already. Interesting. This one didn't give me any weird hints either, so this might take a little bit of time. This is not going to work. <laughs> uh, like that. All right, never mind. <laughs> it wasn't that hard, but you know. It uh, it could have taken longer if I wasn't so incredibly smart. So where's this going to go? You have proven yourself worthy, child. Thanks, and Dad. This gate shall be forever open to you. Seek now the other worlds I have given you, that you may attain even greater mastery and bring glory to your kind. But I mean, remember, nope. you must not ascend the Great Tower, for it shall bring death and the end of your generations. I did not expect an area that looked quite like this. Also, what is this Great Tower he keeps talking about? Like, this looks... This looks portally. <laughs> but there's just this big testing area. Now we're just in this area with tubes and pipes and stuff. Can I jump on top of this and then... Bleh. No, there's like girders. Ah. I wanted to see what was over there. I wanted to see the things. The things. I do want to go back downstairs and get all the things there as well though. But I'm just going gonna, gonna to quickly peek outside, you know? Take a little peek. I think I may have found the Great Tower. <laughs> oh my god, look at this thing. Oh my... Damn. What's this over here? Another puzzle, but I... Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, it actually shows in the top left of the screen how many you need for the thing. I don't really feel like reading those things right now, so I'm just gonna run around here for a bit. I'm guessing this is gonna destroy me. This does not look safe. But, you know. Oh! So if I go outside, were the words and the words made the world. I am the words. The words are everything. Where the words end, the world ends. You cannot go forward in an absence of space. Repeat. In the beginning, That's what it was saying. And, the and if I continue, then it just destroys me. So, okay. So that's basically the game's way of saying don't <laughs> don't go in this direction because you will just die. Which is fair, fair enough, I guess. It's kind of cool, though, that they are like a separate piece of text. I, I thought it was just dialogue that he was just saying at the time, because, you know, that's what he would do. Hello. What are you doing? This one's, like, in an awkward location, so I'm just going to, like, read this particular one, I guess. Uh, am I going to read this particular one? I could read it later. But maybe not. I'm going to read this later. I'm going to read this next time, actually. Uh, I'm just going to open all of these so they're in my log. <laughs> And then when I feel like it, maybe I'll just have a little reading episode. Yeah, look at that. Hidden. It even says that it's in a hidden place. And I totally found the hidden thingy thing. And I am very proud of myself. Go me. Five points for the great me. I wonder if there's any other hidden monitors like that, though. I wonder if these monitors are actually going to like become more relevant as well. Right now, they're mostly telling stories about that person who maybe we're playing as, maybe not. Maybe it was just another person who went through this exact same labyrinth of puzzles and whatnot, but who knows? Who knows? Oh, what is... There's another star over there. Which makes me think that indeed those things at the start, like the previous floor, 
might actually be related to opening that door in the first area. Well, the second area as well, I guess. I wonder if the first area actually requires some of these things as well. And if it leads to some cool things. I want to get the cool things. So, so far, we had this big tower, which, you know, he told us not to go into. And, quite frankly, looks pretty ominous and electric as well. And I want to go there. I really want to go in here. This would be a tower that we were warned about. Seems the upper levels are locked tight. God is taking no chances that we stray from his path. But I do really want to go up here, though. <laughs> but more than likely, we're going to need... More than likely, this is like the end game. Let's be honest. This doesn't look like the kind of area you can just wander into and go, Well, here I am, Dad. How's it going? Oh... One day I'll be able to break these things, and then I'll be able to fit it with this thing, which looks very similar to the other thing. Yeah. It looks very similar to the place that was, like, housing that star. On returning from the tower, I feel a great tiredness and an enormous energy. What I now know disturbs me, but I hope that by living with this knowledge, I might provide a shoulder for you. The giants of tomorrow. The view from the top must be incredible. <laughs> Alright, um, where did I come from? I think I started over here. So I'm actually just gonna go back down again. Exciting elevator action. If I could crouch, you could see. I can't even jump while I'm in this elevator. Huh, look at that. They stopped my nonsense. They stopped my shenanigans by not letting me crouch and jump while I'm in an elevator anymore. They knew what I was gonna do. They were fully aware. Hmm. What's the point of that? Because I don't think you can... I don't think you can just run outside while the... Whatever. Let's go to number three. Let's finally actually go to number three because I'm curious. Here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Anything interesting? AI feedback. Basically a bunch of texts, honestly. I'm just gonna, like, open all of these. And at some point, maybe just one, at some point, I'll just have, like, a reading episode. Or maybe I'll just have, like, maybe I'll just read all of this, all the stuff from, like, one area at once. After doing all of the puzzles. That might, that might work. Because then I could just sort of do everything at once. And usually these things are pretty connected anyway so far, so... I wouldn't be surprised if that was maybe a good idea. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? Either way, I think I'm going through this door. Well, an escalating problem. Does that mean there is an escalator here? Oh, seek counsel. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. That's here, cool. Those who are worthy may seek the counsel of my blessed messengers. But their wisdom shall not be given easily, for your accomplishments must be your own. Ah, I made a thing with my name on it. Oh, that's cool. There aren't many of us left in this world. Be sure we really need... Oh, okay, so you can, like... That's so interesting. I like that. Spent much time waiting for the designer to take my hand until I realized that he had been guiding me all along. I realized that it isn't for me to seek his help. It's, it is for me to help myself. That is such a cool hint system, though. It, like, puts a thing with your name on it, and... Ah! I like that. Ah, oh, God, yes. You know, you know what tingles me. Game. You know what I need. How about you, like, stop for a moment? This one already seems a lot more complicated than any of the previous puzzles we've done so far. Guess I'll lock that thing in there. Do I want to lock this? Hang on. What is over here? Yeah, this is just a place to lock this thing in, I guess. Boop! Get into your prison, so I may close the door behind you. Boop. Pulio. Any other secret things waiting for me here? Maybe. There's a staircase. Like, this puzzle's already, like, a lot bigger. There's a locked door again. Which looks the same as that other locked door, so I wonder if we're gonna figure out how to open those doors now. Or... If they're just locked from the other side, maybe? And if there is... Maybe there is another way of getting in there. 
and that we just never figured it out. That's possible. It's not in. That's not impossible. Do we need that bomb? Surely not. Surely not. Then we can't take it further along. And we have destroyed one of those things before, so I guess maybe we do. Though I cannot. Hmm. I don't think I can take that jammer there, though. So that doesn't work. Oh, no, there's this entire area. I didn't even realize this. All right. Let's look around here for a bit. God, this place is big. This puzzle is much bigger than any of the other ones we've done so far. Maybe the colors are actually, like, indicative of how difficult the puzzle is as well, or at least, like, according to the designers of the game. Because in Sigils of Eloam, they actually use... They had like three sets of level or four sets of levels, and like the I'm I forget which one was the hardest and which one was the easiest. But oh, there's just keys. All right, so I guess those keys are used to open that door. But I need a jammer though, one which I currently do not have. The only jammer I know of is the one over here, and I'm not. I don't think I have any way of. Like putting that in a place where I can still use it. Hmm. That's a weird one. What am I supposed to do here? Maybe I'm just missing something here, though. Maybe I'm just missing a jammer, which I'm just not seeing. <laughs> I have to try. May oh, wait! Hang on. Ah, uh, hmm. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh. Oh, I was hoping that I may be able to, like, jam it over here. And then just grab it from through the window over- Ah, oh, man. That would have been cool. <laughs> that would have made me feel smart. Now I feel like a dum-dum. Still, I still feel stupid. But I'll get through there. I do wonder if this thing's relevant, though. Like, do I need that bomb? Maybe I do. Where is this gonna go? If I do this. Uh, whoop, whoop. Like, I imagine it's just going to go up the stairs, won't it? I feel like that would make sense. Because that's where, like, the door is. That would just go to the left now, yep. And then it now hits the door, and then it just goes all the way back again, presumably? Yeah, alright. So that's not... really helpful. <laughs> At least now we have a bomb flying around in case we ever had that problem. Like, you know, the problem of not having a bomb available to us at a particular moment in time. Now we've made everything a lot more dangerous for ourselves, so that's good. And we could, like, fix that, but, you know, I'm lazy. I'm too lazy to do that. But I need another jammer. I need a another way of opening this place, and I don't have one right now. Maybe I am just missing a jammer somewhere. Maybe I can grab the jammer from upstairs. Maybe use it like that. That might work. When in doubt, I could just see what the hint is that you get, I guess. But I kind of don't want to use hints if I can avoid it, obviously. Because, you know, puzzle games. What's the point of playing a puzzle game if you're just going to use a walkthrough? Like, I don't really want to do that. But right now, I'm pretty much stumped on how to get... That jammer over there. So, what are we gonna do? What are gonna be? What are we gonna do about this particular conundrum over here? I don't know. If I do this, oh. can I grab it while still up here? Hey, look at that! We're not that stupid sometimes. There's moments of intelligence, fleeting moments of brief smartness that are being used to solve some of these puzzles. I'm going to, like, not do that. <laughs> I'm just going to walk in this direction instead. Or rather, I'm going to run in this direction because still, I'm very happy about my movement speed. I'm still very, very happy and very, very pleased about how fast I can move. Get that. Run back. Don't die. Coolio. Get the thing, open the door, wait for the bam, and solved it. So this should destroy both of them, right? I believe that's what it did the last time. 
Oh gosh. Do it. Was that in time? It was in time. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know it was there. God, that nearly went horribly wrong. But it worked out in the end, I guess. Got it. All right. Another thing solved. And we got a ladder access to this place now in case we ever wanted that for some reason. You know. Maybe that's something we wanted all this time. Maybe I like ladders. You ever consider that? Maybe I'm just a huge fan of ladders. Very possible. So, now that we actually solved this... Uh, let's do it. Uh, actually, what if you get something for never using hints? Alright, we're never using hints. <laughs> we're never using hints. It's been decided. Just in case. Because you never know. I, I don't like using hints in puzzle games. If I can, like... Just figure it out myself, because... Unless it's like... A comedy point-and-click adventure game or something like that, where the puzzles are so ridiculous that it's like, you're never gonna figure this out, but... Alright, sure. But, like, in a game like this, I don't want... I don't want to use hints for no reason. Oh, I can paint a message? Oh, I can paint a message! Uh, do I want to paint it here? I don't want to paint it here, though. That looks like such a weird place. Can I paint it here? Yeah! Uh, perhaps have some Russian... Oh, this is the one I got from, um, The Sages of Elohim. Like, um, that's what I got. That's what one of the things I unlocked by doing all of the puzzles in that game. So that, now I understand what that's for. I have no idea what's going on, do you? The certification program is a sham. What does the computer know about humanity? I have traveled to the edge of the known world, though it seems to stretch on forever. Our domain is much less than we imagined. That might be something you get if you just, like, run out and die, which makes sense. Maybe well, A doesn't need to seek them out in secret halls. Um, I like this one. <laughs> I left my mark. I wonder if now people can see that, though. That would be so neat. If people can, like, see this message. And with my name on it and everything. Ah. That's probably why there's so many messages here. <laughs> I wonder if that means that there's, like, a paint can in the first area as well, though. Or the second one, I guess. Yeah. And that sheep might just be one of the people that played before me. Like, I'm playing this a couple days after the game's, like, come out. So it's... It makes sense that there's already some messages. I wanted to play it on release as well, but there were just things that stopped me and it makes me sad. But at least now I get to re read, like, all the cool messages. So there is that. There is pros to the cons. So... There's a door here. It's locked. But I can probably find some keys to open that door up good. Bow. I don't know where to find some keys, though. There's another Destructo Cannon, which is now their name, I guess. The Destructo Cannon. It's trying to stop me. But I have a single key. Yeah. Uh, all right. I guess we're just going to get that jammer from behind the thing. Oh, oh God. Yes, I forgot about you. I literally just spoke about you as well, but for some reason my mind was like, no, that thing, that thing's gone. That thing doesn't exist anymore. What are you talking about? You walked past it. It no longer is a thing. Oh, well, it's not like we lose much progress. It's not like the puzzles are very long so far, which I'm actually really happy about. Because if you die during, like, a really long puzzle, that's just tedious. So it's nice that they're, like, short and, like, confined. Can we not do that again? That would just be silly. Womp. Get that. Boom. Yeah, I'm at. Uh, Alright. Uh, right, okay. Jam that. Jam that. Jamity boop. Do it. Get it. Leave it. No problem at all. We got three of the things. Oh, is that for the, um... That's for the thing, isn't it? For the thing in the level hub. So I can go back for that now. Alright, cool. So, if we want to, we can now go back for the thing, which we will definitely do, because I want the thing, obviously. But first I'm going to do the remaining puzzles here, I think. Before I'm going to continue onwards. Stashed for later. Alright, I don't know what that means, but it's probably going to be relevant to the puzzle at hand. Although I've not really been paying attention to the names much, I'll be brutally honest. I keep forgetting just the name entirely the moment it disappears from the screen, so it's like, well... Thanks for the name. <laughs> It didn't really add to my experience much, but I'm sure someone who's watching the video is like, Oh, that's what they meant, yeah. <laughs> I was briefly worried. Uh, jam it! 
Uh, <laughs> I tried. I tried. I tried to, uh, like, click it really fast again so I could just walk backwards. They did think about a lot of things, which I really like. Like, they thought about a lot of stupid things that people do, which I'm pretty appreciative of. Because I... While it may not seem like it, I actually like it when a game doesn't just completely break in my own hands, because games have a tendency of doing that quite frequently when I play them for some reason. And it's nice when a game just works. Obviously, it added some constraints to make it work, like I can't just jump over walls, but... It's nice when it just works for a change, you know? It's nice. It's good. So I have a key now. I'm pretty worried about going anywhere here because of all this nonsense that's going on here, but I'm pretty sure I walked past a locked door at some point here. Here we go. Which gives us a jammer. Beep. Get that. There's a lot of beepy noises in this game. <laughs> Alright, go back. So, presumably I'm gonna have to use this particular jammer. To get the other jammer. Actually, yeah, that makes more sense. Gonna have to use this jammer to get the thing. Jam it. And... Jam those two turrets over there. I'm just gonna jam this for now. Go back with this. Because it makes this part a little bit easier. I could just walk around here now, which is nice. Because it gets a little bit frightening when everything is out there to just blow you up all the time. It's nice to have some peace and quiet. For a change, you know? It's nice to just be able to calmly walk around. Without having to scream the entire time, worrying that you're going to explode. Nice. Good. Anything here? Anything there? Nope. Get the thing. Is there anything else I want to get over here? I don't think there is. I do not believe there is anything of value here. So presumably I could just leave. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Got it, leave it. No more need for us, no more need for our presence here. Yeah. We can move on. I wonder if, like, behind some of these bushes, there's just gonna be th something. Because the star in, like, the second area was behind a little bush as well. So maybe we should be looking at that as well, but. Right now, I'm mostly just following the walls, honestly. Seeing if there's anything behind it. Like, we found a little paint can behind the walls. So it obviously is, like, worthwhile to look behind walls here and there. Just to see if there's any cool secrets. But simultaneously, I probably should be looking at the water and stuff as well. Oh, God. It looks so good. <laughs> it is such a good-looking game. Look at this. I, like, I'm just so appreciative of just the visuals of this game because, man, it looks nice. A nice-looking thing. Is fun to look at, and I like fun. And this, these things all combine into fun, yes. Alright, so that Jimmy Jammer... Is it... What is this Jammer Jammin'? It's not jamming anything yet. But something's... Oh god, what a mess. Alright, so jam that. And then jam that. And we put everything down. Over here. Actually, shouldn't these things now, like, explode into each other? Alright, cool. That's gone. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. Bleep it. Uh, I guess we need to probably take all of these with us. So we're, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Jam that. Whoop. Presumably I'm gonna... Oh. What? Oh, the star, right. Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, I forgot about those even existing, honestly. I just completely forgot about their presence. Weren't there two in this area, though? I vaguely recall there being two. Not one. And I haven't even seen the second star at all. Maybe I'm thinking of a different place, though. But I could definitely recall there being two of those little icons on the, on the thing. Maybe I just missed it somewhere. Let's just go back to the level up for now, though. Let's, uh, let's go back here. See if there's anything cool. What's, what are these things for? I don't know. Probably good for something, but... I haven't really found a purpose for those yet, either. 
But then again, they might just be decoration. Who knows, right? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything at all. Um, yeah. Let's go back here for a moment. Oh, the BB boop. What's wrong, little guy? Yeah, there is two stars here. So I did miss one somewhere. Hey, our user profile has been generated. Download it. Yes. Registering profile. Congratulations. Your new user account has been registered. Would you like to see the details? Display conflicts. User provided an objective response when asked for a subjective one. Fair enough. User sought to maximize both liberty and quality of life, but these ideals are incompatible. User denied moral authority, but defended moral claims. The user has inconsistent ideas about value. That's... Yeah, that sounds right. Display psychological profile. You may already be criticizing your own performance, but it's clear you understand how the world of ideas affect you. Even if you are sometimes weary with the realities and allow your preferences to dictate your beliefs, you have a great deal of unused capability, which you have not turned to your advantage. Discipline and self-control outside, you tend to be worrisome and insecure inside, but you pride yourself with an, as an independent thinker, and do not accept other statements without... No, that actually sounds right. So that's... Uh, thanks, computer, for knowing me already. Jeez, you terrifying beast of... What the hell? Alright, just display things. Basic account privileges only. Due to outstanding notes on your account, and despite displaying many of the characteristics of being a person, you cannot be granted admin settled at this time. In the meantime, please enjoy the basic account functionalities, alright? So what are the... Oh wait, that's just the thing I just did. Um... Bop. You currently hold a basic account, and that's... Yeah, right. Log, MLA, support ticket. I'm sorry, I wasn't able to assist you. If you're still encountering a problem, Please describe it. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. A support ticket has been generated. <laughs> ben, <it's> your profile. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Display. Uh, let's do it. Like, oh God. Wait. Did I? <laughs> did I just waste? <laughs> Damn it. I probably should have not done that. Oh well. It was too good of an option not to do. <laughs> oh darn it. Oh well. Whatever. Uh, I'm actually gonna read remaining things here now though feedback we keep discussing what an artificial intelligence would mean to us and how it would change our understanding of the world that's a great topic and i think we covered it extensively what we've barely mentioned though is the other side of the coin i mean our lives would still be what they were before ai or no ai the question i think we should discuss even if it's all completely hypothetical is the perspective of the artificial intelligence itself what would it be like to be that creature to suddenly come into being, created by others as an experiment. To have all the information about yourself, to know exactly how you function. What would you think about the world? Would you see meaning? Beauty? How would you judge humanity? Where would you see yourself fitting into the grand scheme of things? I think we should try to put ourselves into the shoes of such a being. Dear Alexander, thank you for your feedback, but this is a philosophy course, not science fiction. And that's why I almost gave up my studies. Man, that's sad. Team leads! We're blessed with so many people contributing to this project. We've got blah, 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 names. Uh, are these just people? I wonder if these are, like, secret credits. Like, secretly. I wonder if these are all relevant at all, actually. And a Talos unit. That's interesting. Though not directly part of our project, the archive team is sharing both physical and digital space with us. If there are any technical issues to resolve, please contact their project lead. Arcady... So, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, he's nice. I, I'll trust your name. Station of Stagiria. Stagira? I don't know. Was a Greek materialist philosopher associated with the peripatetic school, an admirer of Aristotle. He was a pro proponent. I am not very good at English, okay? <laughs> he was a proponent of empiricism and a fierce critic of philosophy that placed belief before observable truths. Through unpopular, though unpopular with many of his peers for his often s, I don't know. His commentaries of Aristotle were considered an important work. Much of his writing was lost in the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. God. This is where the non-native English speakers come and cry, because, oh my god. 
Yeah, what's this? Am I playing Mist? Is this what's going on here? Oh my god. There's a number scratched on here as well. Oh god. Alright, we're gonna press buttons. We're gonna press every button. I didn't even notice these buttons until now. Did one of the buttons get unpushed? Yeah, I did. Huh. Got. This is missed all over again. Does this unpush all the buttons? Yeah. Maybe there's like a specific order. There's so many buttons though! <laughs> oh my god, look at this. There's so many buttons. There's buttons everywhere. Oh my god. Alright, hang on. Let's quickly go back to this thing because there was a number written on here. 371972, 371970. Are those numbers relevant to this? Maybe. <laughs> Uh, are there numbers on those things? Oh, wait, there's numbers on these things. So that's 17, 18, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, presumably. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. So this is number 1. 1. Two. Three. Alright, so let's, uh, let's briefly go back to that thing. Oh, the hell? Three, seven, one, nine, seven, two. But I can't actually type that because I don't have the number seven twice. Unless I type three, seven, one, and then it unpushes it again. That might be a thing. Let's try that. So, like, three, seven, one, nine, seven, two. Let's try that. Uh, where's number three? Where's number three? It's over there somewhere. We're gonna get through this. It's gonna take a while. It's a puzzle game. I'm confused by this circle. <laughs> okay, so... Three, four, five, six... Seven... And then nine... Was it nine? Oh god, I've forgotten the number. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, it wasn't three seven. It was three seven one nine seven two, not three seven nine. Three seven one nine seven two. So three, and then seven, and then one, and then we go to the number nine. Nine. Seven and two. Well, <laughs> that did nothing. Um, all right, cool. Thanks, game. But at least we noticed the numbers so far. There is a number on that which may or may not be relevant to anything. There's also a number on this thing, but it's really hard to see. That's 3719. It says 970, but that doesn't work, though, because I can't type any zeros. I can type 10, I guess. But that's a different number from zero, as numerical geniuses might know. Hmm. Is there any other numbers on these things? Maybe that's just another number written down somewhere. Like, it's pure coincidence that I managed to see this number at all, let's be honest. But... This one's like the most visible though. 371972. That's what I typed though. That's definitely what I typed, wasn't it? Maybe there's numbers on these things as well. But well, now you're making me want to actually look at everything. <laughs> this uh, this playthrough might actually last years because of this kind of stuff. Maybe that's how you get like the stars and stuff though. If you figure out like the really, really complicated stuff like that. Which is very possible. And with really complicated, I mean just accidentally stumble upon like a number or something, but... God. Hmm. So I don't really know what to 
do about this? That number is really the only number I could find. But there are two numbers. So maybe I should just put in 10 or something. That's mine, isn't it? Yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> uh, that's like, that still just like endlessly amuses me. I wrote something down and other people might be able to see it. Which, you know, I guess you could do in like Dark Souls as well, but I never really got into those games, so, you know. It's nice to have my own little game where I can like write things down. Pretty fine things, mind you, but still, it's something. I left a footprint on this game. Who knows for how long? Maybe forever, maybe never. Maybe no one will ever see it. But at least I tried, you know? Yeah, I'm guessing that thing might actually be the only thing with a number on it. Oh! Oh, this one's the... Yeah, this one's the same. It's so hard to read that one because the sun is like shining so brightly on those as well. But I am... Am I correct in saying that says... 7-0? Or is that like a faded out 8? Uh, can I change the sun? Ah, screw that. That's like cheating almost. <laughs> I thought like maybe I can like change how bright the sun is, but you know that's I don't I don't really like doing that. That definitely says three seven one nine seven two though, and that also starts with three seven one and then nine <clears throat> something, something or another. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, what have you done to me, Crow Team? What have you done to me? This is worth remembering, though. This is most likely how we're gonna get that final star in this area. Because I don't- I genuinely wouldn't know how else you would get it. And this is like such- This is such a ridiculous thing. <laughs> oh my- Hang on. No, that's not right. That's not the current time. <laughs> Wait. What are these numbers? <laughs> what are these numbers? Hang on. Huh. Is this relevant at all? It might be. Is this clock in reverse? That might actually... What time is it now? It's 35 past 4. So... It got the 35 right. It just got a little bit confused about the 4 part. I guess. Unless this clock is running like partially counterclockwise maybe <laughs> yeah, that might be a thing oh hey hello oh, this is another one of those ones which for some ir inexplicable reason doesn't get scanned by the game itself and requires me to actually hold a phone in front of my screen and then wait for like five minutes because my camera is horrible the eagle has landed. Now is the time of tranquility, and I shall rest and observe the earth by Uriel 4. Or Uriel. So that's something. Some, a lot of somethings here, but I should note that there are numbers on this thing. And it goes all the way to 24. Oh, right, because it's a 24 hour clock. Wait. But then 12 will be... Yeah, 12 is there. So it would run like that, and then like... Oh, that's so cool! Oh, it's 60... Oh, yeah! It took me way too long to actually figure out how this clock works. But still, there's a functioning clock in the... I, I love functioning clocks in video games. More than any human should, but still, like... A functioning clock is how you get my attention. I've said it so many times as well <laughs> that I love like functioning clocks in games. And stuff. Oh man, this god, you guys, you shouldn't have, but you did because you could, and you even made it a really cool clock as well. Oh man, I don't deserve you guys, but I know that does mean that this. So this thing actually goes on to twenty four as well. So is that... Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just supposed to type in the current time. <laughs> so what if I, like, do six... Wait, I can't type 35. What's uh, this number currently on? Like... 16 and then 15, I guess? I could try that, but I don't... I 
would be very surprised if that actually did anything. But, you know, might as well just give it a shot, I suppose. Where's number 16? There it is. Pop. Pop. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I am genuinely befuddled what this is all about. 3719. It might actually be like a date as well, I guess. Like 37 in a 1972. I don't know if that means anything though. 